If you have clicked on this video, it means that you are interested in creating comparison videos similar to those made by popular channels like WatchData. Many channels produce comparison videos in various fields and gain a large number of subscribers and views. If you are interested in learning, please stay with me until the end of this video. Before we begin the tutorial, I would like to mention that there are websites and AI such as AlienArt.io then create different type of comparison video. However, as you can observe, best channel prefer to create their own videos using PowerPoint due to professional editing. First of all, let me explain my process for creating my own videos. Once I have chosen an idea, I begin by categorizing all the necessary information that I find during my research into the Excel file. This step is not necessary but it provides a great deal of organization and I highly recommend doing the same. In this tutorial video our goal is to remake a specific video from the Watch Data channel which is celebrities comparison video ranked by IQ. As you can observe, a black background is needed for this. To achieve this, we can change the background color to black by going to Label Design, then Background Formation, and selecting Fill. Next, we will create a rectangular by navigation to Label, Insert, and selecting Shape. The color of rectangular should be changed to black. Additionally, we will add two gray rectangulars, one with a rich color and the other with a lighter color. Afterwards, we require hexagon, which can be found in the same shape section. We will rotate it to the desired orientation and color it red. A text box should be added. The font size and color of the text can be modified at desire. Another text box will be included as well. Now we can take the copyright free image that was downloaded earlier and insert it into the PowerPoint. Another text box should be added to input the relevant information. Now all the items can be selected, right click and group them together. The newly formed group can then be copied and four of this group can be placed together. The information for the second group should be interned. In this section, the photo can be changed by right clicking on it, select insert picture and choose a new picture as you can see in many cases the background of photo needs to be removed to enhance the attractiveness and beauty of the video there are numerous websites and AI that can accomplish this and even PowerPoint itself has the ability to remove backgrounds. However, I personally use Photoshop for this task. The necessary modification has also been made for the fourth group. Depending on the idea of your video, you can copy as many groups as needed. Please note that I have not applied the necessary changes for groups beyond the fourth one. Now let's move on to applying the effects. Start by selecting the first four groups, 
In the animations tab, locate the option for adding animation. Here you are free to choose any effect that suits your preference. Additionally, you can also modify the direction of the effect. Inside the animation pane, you will notice four effects. Right click on the effect of the first group, then select the start with previous option. Apply the start after previous setting for the rest of the effects. Now select all four groups and right click on them and click on effect option. Adjust the duration of the effect as desired. Next, select all the group by using Ctrl A. To select the first four group by holding Ctrl, then convert the remaining groups into the new group. Once again, select all the groups and in the Add Animation label, apply the Motion Path Line effect. Set the direction of motion path from left to right. Now in the animation pane you will observe new effect represented by the color blue this effect need to be changed to start after previous then hold the control key and select the new effects right click on them and click on the effect option and adjust the smooth start and smooth end effects to zero in the timing section, specify the duration of this effect based on the number of your groups. In my case, I set 120 seconds. If you find that the movement of the group is too slow, you can decrease the time to make them move faster. The green dot represents the starting point of movement effect, while the red dot indicates the end of the effect. It's important to note that we should not modify the position of a green dot, but rather move the red dot to the spot where all the group pass through the slide. This adjustment should also be made for the first four groups. To preview the outcome, Simply press the F5 button and observe the result. To create a professional video, consider applying entrance and exit effect to all your photos, tags, and objects. In the file section, navigate to export and select the option to create a video. Make sure to set the duration of each slide to zero. Once the settings are adjusted, click to create video. Specify a name for the video and choose the desired storage location. Finally, click on save to generate the video in an mp4 format. Please be aware that older version of PowerPoint may not have the capability to create videos. Now let's add a copyright free music to enhance it. There are several methods to obtain such music. One option is to utilize the YouTube audio library. For video editing, there are various software available and personally I use Adobe Premiere. Here is what I do. I import the video created in PowerPoint along with the chosen music into the Premiere. I then incorporate any desired sound effect to achieve the desired result. The final output is something like what you see here. You also have the option to add your own recorded voiceover if you prefer. After completing the editing process, we export the final outcome from the software. Specify a name for file, choose the storage location and click on export. If you want to create similar video like this that I made before, the only difference is that I, instead of hexagon shape, you will need a two rectangular and text box. And for making flag, you can start by drawing a shape option that resembles the flag. Right click on it and select format shape. In a fill section, choose picture or texture fill and select the desired flag image. Proceed to add the remaining photos without a background and follow the same step as before. If you find the content of this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching until the end. Thank you.